My name is James Vinny. I work for Cornell University in the Institute for Biotechnology and Life Science Technologies. We manage a variety of data produced in support of life science research. We had a challenge in uh, managing and storing uh, the vast amounts of data that many of these technologies uh, produce. Uh, existing infrastructure had some shortcomings as far as file system size, scalability, and um, we anticipated perhaps some performance bottlenecks. So we were very attracted to the software only aspect of Red Hat storage because we could leverage our existing infrastructure and not be locked into uh, specific hardware moving forward. I brought that idea that this may work to my colleagues at the Center for Advanced Computing here at Cornell and asked if they thought that this may work to address some of my uh, needs. My name is Stephen Lee and I work for Cornell University Center for Advanced Computing. We provide computing services for all researchers across campus. That includes high performance computing. Life science folks are they are one of our biggest customers, especially in the storage area, because their research is especially data intensive. One day he showed up and said, hey, let's give Red Hat Storage a try. So we tried out on a few test systems and it actually worked out really well. It definitely helps us to get the biggest bang for the buck because Red Hat Storage can grow so easily instead of buying a gigantic system and, and, and waiting to fill it, we just grow it. So Red Hat Storage could enhance the performance of our existing uh, high-end disk arrays. We expect to be able to leverage the scale-out performance capabilities and add features via the software to allow us to use them in new ways. Our mission is to enable our researchers on campus to get their work done. That means that we have to have a strong, flexible, scalable infrastructure to accommodate the growth in data intensive life sciences research. So we partnered with the Center for Advanced Computing, brought in Red Hat Storage, and we're meeting those challenges.